Apart from those incredible casinos, the streets of Macau are home to loads of restaurants, everything from street food to fine dining, but which ones are the best? We asked Andy Haler, a restaurant critic and the only man to have eaten in every single three-star Michelin restaurant, to name his best restaurants in Macau. Keep watching to find out. Macau is famous for its gambling, um, less so perhaps for its cuisine, but there are some hidden gems tucked away. The first of these is Jade Dragon, and uh, this is in the City of Dreams casino complex, and uh, it's a Cantonese restaurant, but it differentiates itself by using much higher quality ingredients than you would usually find. Um, an example of this would be a dim sum dish, um, the classic dumpling, Zhao Long Bao, uh, which has a liquid center, normally with maybe with pork. Um, here, instead of that, we have uh, a very, very high class crab from Hokkaido in northern Japan. So it's a much more you know, ambitious take on the cuisine. For my next choice, um, we're going to a French restaurant called the Tasting Room. Um, the chef here has got a high degree of technical skill. Um, and this is shown in a very elaborate take on a very simple rustic dish, of onion soup. It doesn't sound as if it's going to be thrilling. However, <clears throat> the, the soup itself had in the middle of it um, a, an onion ice cream, which doesn't sound quite right, balanced on a very delicate twill. Now getting hot and cold in a dish, the same dish, very, very difficult thing to pull off, um, but it worked beautifully. The um, ice cream is made with Sivan onions, which are absolutely fantastic. They're known as the poor man's truffle. And the soup itself was made with Roscoff onions, which are some of the most top class onions in France. And this sort of dish um, just shows you the kind of technical dexterity of the, of the kitchen here. Our video will continue in a few seconds, but before we move on, have you ever tasted reindeer heart? Do you know where to find the best sushi in the world? Or which three-star Michelin restaurant lets you listen to your food? Foodies TV offers you the best videos about the best restaurants around the world. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel and enjoy watching the rest of our videos. For my next choice, we're back to Cantonese food and to a restaurant called The Eight. Um, this is in the Grand Lisboa Hotel. Um, it's quite a, a large restaurant um, doing fairly traditional Cantonese food, but often using particularly high grade ingredients. Um, an example dish that I really enjoyed was a uh, crab dish, which had been fried with uh, spicy salt and green chili. Um, and the crab itself, which was imported from Japan, was absolutely gorgeous, beautifully sweet. And the spices and the salt just sort of nicely balanced the sweetness of the crab. So this is a good example of that type of dish. My next choice is Shinji, a sushi restaurant. And the chef here has actually worked in some very top places in Tokyo. And indeed, just about everything in this restaurant comes from Japan. Not just the fish, which comes from the famous Skidu market, uh, but also the rice <clears throat> and the wasabi roots, which are freshly grated in front of you. I was particularly taken with the horse mackerel here, um, which is a fish which, with a sort of inherent spiciness, which is, I particularly enjoy. Um, and really, if you just blinked for a moment and, and closed your eyes and opened them again, um, you really could just be sitting in a Tokyo sushi bar. My final choice is, without doubt, the best restaurant in Macau, and that's uh, Rabouchon au Dome. And this is uh, very high up in the Grand Lisboa Hotel, in a dome at the top with a spectacular view out over the city. And the food is just as spectacular. Um, there are many fantastic dishes here, but one that I remember very well uh, was a sweet onion foam with bacon and mint that was topped with a pea velouté. Now, this was remarkable from the sheer depth of flavour of the peas, which were imported from France. And indeed, just about everything that they do here is, is based on absolutely top-class ingredients brought in from either France or Japan. So if you want a really world-class experience when you're in Macau, go to Rabouchon Odome. So that was the last restaurant on Andy's Best Restaurants in Macau. Please enjoy the rest of our videos on Foodies TV. We've got loads of other reviews from lots of other cities, as well as some great Michelin reviews, the best desserts, the most beautiful dishes, and even the most bizarre dishes. So continue watching and enjoy.